Well guys, today's the day. Bought a new bike yesterday. Picking her up today. Let's see, it's about 9.30 in the morning right now. Had some errands I had to run. And so, I should be going to pick up the bikes around two today. Somewhere around two to three. So I'm freaking super stoked for it. And I can't wait to show you guys. There she blows. 2016 Husqvarna FE501S. The street legal version. That way I'll be able to hoon around on the streets and then tear it up in the dirt. Oh, I tell you what guys doesn't even feel real right now getting this thing but oh this looks so fucking good fuel injected don't fuck with the carburetor anymore gorgeous gorgeous fucking bike got the Brembo brakes on there stainless steel brake lines WP suspension I mean Gosh, this thing's going to be a beast. I can't, <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't wait to get on this thing and ride it. I cannot wait. All right, first start up. Let's go. You what guys it feels weird as god damn it so they gave me some fuck they gave me some parts after my wife had already left and I have them stuck in my goddamn pants right now yes so they gave me some parts after my wife had already left and so I'm shoving it in my fucking pants right now and then they started to fall out right away. So I think I got it situated now. So as you guys can see, I bought the 501 and my dad in front of me right now bought the 350. And it's funny because at first he wanted the 701 and then I was like, man, maybe I want the 701. And then it got to, well, maybe he wants the 501, and I still wanted the 701. And then it was, well, maybe I'll get the 350. That's what he said. And then I was like, well, maybe I'll get the 501. So we both started at the 701, and we both, I don't want to say downgraded, but, you know, just went with something that was suited more of our style. So initial impressions, this thing is super tall, super tall. I mean, I'm struggling to put my toes down. I'm on my tippy toes on this damn thing. Other than that, the exhaust is actually decently loud for being a stock exhaust. My dad right now has a WR250 and that's got the stock exhaust on it and it is super quiet. But this thing actually makes some good noise with the stock muffler. I mean, right now it's where I'm happy with it. So this is really like the first time I've ever ridden a dirt bike on the street. Cause I mean, just cause this thing is street legal, but it's a dirt bike and the tires, you can definitely feel riding on the street. I mean, there's such big knobby tires and even though they are DOT legal, they really are an off-road tire. So you do get a lot of vibration. I can feel it in my feet and in my hands. So I'm definitely gonna ride these tires out, but I'm thinking that once these tires do wear out, I might get something a little less aggressive, but something that'll still be good on the dirt and also something that maybe just a little bit better on the street. 
So this is my first bike that I've actually ever ridden with a hydraulic clutch. And it truly is like one finger. That's really all you need. And I really like that. I really like the hydraulic clutch. I mean, it's super light, one finger, that's all you need. And you know, next thing you know, you pull it in and oh, it's just smooth as butter. They told me specifically, be really careful when you leave because this bike's got a lot of power and you're on dirt bike tires on the street and they're still, they still have that like, uh, like mold, molding type stuff, you know, the mold release on it. So they are very slippery. And if I get on it, I'll do it right now. The tire starts slipping in the rear. I mean, that was at 35. I don't even know what gear I'm in, but that tire's spinning when I'm getting on it. Oh man, this thing's gonna be a handful off road. I can't fucking wait. This thing is gonna be gnarly. It even crackles a little bit on D-cell. I love that. Love that for sure. So Eric, he's the owner of the KTM dealership that we were just at. And he was telling me to pass emissions for these bikes, they had to make the gearing really tall. And so he said, one of the first mods that you do to these is you go down one, down one tooth on the front sprocket and up three in the rear. And I can definitely see what he's talking about. This thing is geared very high. And you know, that's just, I guess how it is right now. But I think I'm gonna give it probably another month or so and kind of just feel the bike out for how it, you know, how it is stock. And then from there, I'll worry about if I want to mess around with it and, or change anything like that. This is actually my first brand new dirt bike I've ever bought. And actually, it's my first brand new motorcycle in general that I've ever bought. I mean, we bought my wife's Ninja 300 brand new, but that was really her bike. So this is really my first new bike ever. So... My wife doesn't, I mean, she doesn't ride her Ninja all the time. Maybe five, six times a month. Where I'll be riding this thing a lot more, so... It'll be, it'll be interesting to see how it holds up. I've never owned a European bike before. I've always been a Japanese type of guy as far as, like, the bike I wanted to buy. And it will be interesting. You know, I'm definitely gonna keep up on the maintenance on this thing. So I hope this thing lasts. <laughs> I just spent a lot of money, so I hope this thing lasts me a long time. I'm definitely gonna beat the shit out of this thing, for sure. You can tell my dad's a pretty slow rider. He's going around this corner and he doesn't trust the knobby tires. Not that you really should. They definitely just demand some, some respect. I'm so tempted just to like romp on this thing, but I want to give it a, I want to be gentle to it right now. Especially because it's brand new, you know what I mean? I don't feel like revving her out too much yet. Plus these tires are just spinning, so I want to make sure that they get a little bit more heat in them and get that first layer off so it's a little bit so they have a little bit more grip i'm so used to my fc09 because i keep like looking down to see what gear i'm in and i never had that on my first two bikes but i'm so used to it now it's like man i wish i had the gear indicator one of the things I'm most excited about, about getting this bike, is that I'm just gonna have a whole nother area of content now for my channel. You know, 
all my dirt bike riding that I do and then the little putt putting around town that I'm gonna do on this thing definitely being able to ride on the street it was like my number one selling point for this bike for sure because like I said I have a dirt bike right now but it is just <laughs> that girl is looking at me she's like why the fuck's he talking to himself but one it's been broken for a while and two I wasn't really doing uh, moto vlogging last summer I haven't been doing it too long so definitely now that the summer's here I got a dirt bike I got or enduro dirt bike you know I'll be able to ride it on the street so hopefully I can do some hooning around a little bit find some trails I'm not going to be riding just through like people's grass and shit and like, you know what I mean, fucking things up, but I'll definitely find something that's legal to ride on and, you know, hit up the street and then go hit up, you know, some not freaking fun dirt trails. I mean, I always could ride over and like this. <laughs> That's the thing with this bike. It could, it, it could get me in a lot of trouble, but honestly, with as much as I'll be riding in the dirt with this thing, I'll definitely get my fixing. Well, guys, there she is in all her glory. It was just about a, I don't know, 10 mile ride back to the house. But, oh. I can't wait to start pumping out some more videos of this thing. It's going to be an awesome, awesome time this summer for sure. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Brand new bike, Husqvarna FE501S. And it's going to be a great time doing some vlogs with this thing. I'll catch you guys later. Make sure to like the video, subscribe. Definitely because <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm going to be coming out with a lot of shit, so take it easy, guys. Peace.